Hey guys, uh, this time I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna revisit an old video uh, where I actually uh, get the data from a files from a folder. Now in those videos I actually use uh, a function either by calling the function or inserting the function within the actual query. In this case we're not gonna use any functions. We're not gonna even touch the advanced editor. We're gonna go straight forward into the, the cool user interface that we have uh, with Power Query. So instead of going with Excel files, which is gonna be just a later video, I'm gonna use first CSVs. So first we go to Power Query, we go from file, and then we go to from folder. From here we go to the actual folder that holds all of our CSVs. In my case it's just going to be uh, OneDrive, it's going to be the public, and it's going to be the example. So we find it, we click OK, it's going to load that uh, data within that folder, and I'm going to say, hey, you're going to filter this out so I only get the CSVs. Now in the past video I actually used the folder path and the file name. In this case, I no longer need that. I can actually just use the name and the content, which is actually a binary field. You're going to notice that the binary field is actually the file itself. So I'm going to go and click extension, or you know what? I'm going to click just this one, and let's say remove other columns. From here, I can actually create a new column, which is going to basically read this file and transform it as a table and we go to add column, add custom column and the formula that we need to use is called CSV document and it's going to need a binary field which is this one, content close parenthesis and you hit OK and you see that it's now a table how cool is that? Now this table actually has uh, column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, up to column 8 as headers. So we need to use the same pattern that we just used on uh, the previous video. So we're going to use another column. We can actually just, well, we, yeah, we can actually go to add custom column, and go table.promote headers and refer to that custom. And that's going to promote the first rows to be the headers. And that is it. So we actually just did that. And we just combine. We're about to combine all the data that we need. Now we can actually just. Uh, we're going to remove other columns. Because actually we have the two columns that we need. And from here. Since I'm actually using the latest version of uh, Power Query. I get this. Uh, way of choosing what columns to use. I'm not going to import this blank one uh, near these ones. And instead of using the original column name as prefix, I'm just going to say, hey, I just want to have these name columns. And that's it. You actually get the data as you want it without going on the view advanced editor. It's just straightforward, just two formulas, pretty easy formulas. And from here, you can just load it on Excel. And that's it. Now, you'll need to actually just, in this case, it's all text, but it's basically just up to you to actually change it. We can actually go back. Since everything is just, uh, we can actually just put it as decimals to all of them. And that is it. Load it again. It's now all numerical data. Uh, that is it, guys. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.